Welcome to the Musical Hits Through the Ages quiz. This fun and engaging quiz will take you on a journey through the most iconic moments in music history. From the groundbreaking jazz of the 1920s to the rise of rock and roll, pop and hip hop, you'll test your knowledge of legendary songs, artists and albums. Whether you're a casual listener or a die-hard music fan, this quiz is a perfect way to revisit the tunes that shape generations. Let's see how well you remember the hits that define the soundtrack of the ages. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Which 1967 song by the Beatles is often considered their most iconic? A Day in the Life A Day in the Life from Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band is widely regarded as one of the Beatles' greatest achievements. The song is famous for its innovative structure, combining two different song ideas from John Lennon and Paul McCartney, and for its dramatic orchestral crescendo. Who is known as the King of Rock and Roll? Elvis Presley Elvis Presley earned the title King of Rock and Roll thanks to his role in popularizing the genre in the 1950s. His energetic performances and charismatic stage presence made him a global icon. What song by Queen is often referred to as a rock opera? Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody is known for its complex structure, blending ballad, opera, and hard rock elements. Released in 1975, it became one of Queen's signature songs and was a commercial success despite its unconventional form. Which American pop singer's 1983 album Thriller became the best-selling album of all time? Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson's Thriller album, released in 1982, broke all sales records and solidified Jackson's status as the king of pop. The album's title track, along with hits like Billie Jean and Beat It, remains iconic to this day. What 1970s Swedish group won Eurovision with the song Waterloo? ABBA. ABBA won Eurovision in 1974 with Waterloo, launching them into global stardom. The song's upbeat tempo and catchy melody helped ABBA become one of the best-selling music artists in history. Which song by the Rolling Stones became an anthem for rebellion in the 1960s? Satisfaction. I Can't Get No Satisfaction was released in 1965 and quickly became a symbol of youthful rebellion. The song's iconic guitar riff and lyrics about dissatisfaction with commercialism and conventional values resonated with the counterculture movement. Which 1991 Nirvana song helped define the grunge movement? Smells Like Teen Spirit Smells Like Teen Spirit became the anthem of Generation X and brought grunge music into the mainstream. Its raw energy and angst-filled lyrics helped establish Nirvana as one of the most influential bands of the 1990s. What hit song did Whitney Houston make famous in the movie The Bodyguard?
I Will Always Love You. Whitney Houston's version of I Will Always Love You became one of the best-selling singles of all time after it was featured in the 1992 movie The Bodyguard. Originally written by Dolly Parton, Houston's powerful rendition made the song iconic. Which song by Bob Dylan is considered one of the greatest protest songs? Blowing in the Wind Blowing in the Wind 1963 became an anthem of the civil rights movement, with its poignant lyrics questioning peace, freedom, and human rights. It solidified Bob Dylan's place as a leading voice in protest music. What 1972 David Bowie album introduced his Ziggy Stardust persona? The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars This concept album introduced David Bowie's alter ego, Ziggy Stardust, a flamboyant, androgynous rock star. The album helped define glam rock and cemented Bowie's status as a music innovator. What disco hit by the Bee Gees became synonymous with the 1970s? Stayin' Alive. Stayin' Alive was released in 1977 as part of the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack and became an anthem of the disco era. The song's rhythmic groove and falsetto vocals remain iconic. Which Irish rock band released the album The Joshua Tree in 1987? U2. U2's The Joshua Tree is one of their most critically acclaimed albums, featuring hits like With or Without You and Where the Streets Have No Name. The album was a defining moment in U2's career, showcasing their blend of rock and political messaging. Who performed the rap hit Lose Yourself in 2002? Eminem. Lose Yourself, featured in the film 8 Mile, is one of Eminem's most successful tracks. The song won an Academy Award for Best Original Song and is often praised for its intense lyrics and motivational message. What 1981 Journey song became a rock anthem and karaoke favorite? Don't Stop Believin'. Don't Stop Believin' is considered one of the most enduring rock anthems. The song's iconic piano riff and uplifting chorus have made it a staple in pop culture, especially in karaoke and sporting events. What famous 1965 song did The Who perform, often associated with the mod movement, My Generation My Generation became an anthem for the British mod movement, with its rebellious lyrics and aggressive energy. The song's famous line, Hope I Die Before I Get Old, resonated with youth counterculture. Who performed Purple Rain in 1984, blending rock, R&B and gospel? Prince. Purple Rain, 
the title track from Prince's 1984 album and film, is considered one of his greatest songs. It combines rock and gospel influences and features an unforgettable guitar solo, showcasing Prince's musical genius. Which British singer released Rolling in the Deep in 2010, marking her international breakthrough? Adele. Rolling in the Deep was Adele's breakthrough hit, earning her multiple Grammy Awards and establishing her as one of the most powerful voices in modern music. The song's bluesy vibe and emotional delivery resonated with a global audience. Which iconic song by the Eagles is known for its haunting lyrics about excess and fame? Hotel California Hotel California is famous for its enigmatic lyrics that many interpret as a critique of the American dream and the excesses of fame. The song's intricate guitar solo and haunting melody make it a timeless classic. What Bob Marley song released in 1980 became a posthumous hit? Redemption Song. Redemption Song was one of Bob Marley's last recordings before his death in 1981. Its acoustic simplicity and powerful message of freedom and human rights make it one of his most beloved songs. What song by The Clash became an anthem of punk rebellion? London Calling. London Calling 1979 is one of The Clash's most famous songs, reflecting the band's punk ethos and addressing political and social concerns of the time. Its powerful lyrics and infectious rhythm made it a punk anthem. Which 1979 Pink Floyd album is considered one of the greatest concept albums of all time? The Wall. The Wall is a rock opera that tells the story of a man's emotional isolation and downfall. Songs like Another Brick in the Wall and Comfortably Numb are highlights of this ambitious and influential album. Now it's time to see how you did. If you score between 18 and 21 correct answers, congratulations, you're in the excellent category with 14 to 17 correct answers. You're at the good level. If you got between nine and 13, you've got solid knowledge. For those with zero to eight correct, keep watching our videos and you'll surely catch up. If you scored more than 14, don't forget to give the video a like. Let's see how many good and excellent experts we have. We hope these 21 questions brought some fun to your day and maybe helped you discover something new. Be sure to share your results in the comments. How many points did you score? Which questions surprised you? What new facts did you learn? And which ones did you already know by heart? We love seeing your participation. See you at the next quiz adventure.